Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, blogs for professional development. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge and today I'm talking about blogs for professional development. As teachers and educators, uh, we like to develop ourselves. We don't always have time to take classes or to go and listen to lectures and a great way to get professional development to come to you is to use uh, Twitter and we talked about this before but to really look at blogs written by other educators with great ideas and there's lots of them out there and, and it's really hard sometimes to decide which ones to follow and which ones to read on a regular basis and there are lots of ways to do it, but I want to introduce a few places where you can find some of the best professional development you can get. And the first place you can go is you can go to Edutopia. Edutopia had been around for a long uh, time and they really collect a lot of classroom examples and they have fantastic bloggers that talk about 21st century skills, about uh, technology integration, project-based learning, you name it, they've got it, innovating in education so a way to get to them would be to use your browser and go to where they are and you can see that you can get these stories and you can store them if you have anywhere else to store uh, pages you can pin them you can share them or you can actually use uh, apps to uh, store them or, or share them with other teachers if you find great things so so that's one thing to do with them now uh, the other way to get to uh, Edutopia that I like uh, very, very much, and I've talked about this before, is using Flipboard. And in Flipboard, you can get different streams. I have the stream that comes from Edutopia. So now I'm getting it in a magazine style, which helps me really uh, consume this a little bit better on the iPad than using the website. The website is a little finicky, lots of links, not necessarily what you want, but here, in a Flipboard, you can just click on it and you see the example, you can get to the original article after you read the first few lines. So you have access to it and it's easier to sort through. It does take you back basically into a browser-like uh, app. The next one I want to look at is actually called MindShift. And again, you can use this by just going to MindShift online or you can get their stream on a Flipboard, again, I like their stream on Flipboard, but you can do it either way, depending on the device you have. And you can see that the address is actually www.kqed.org, which is the uh, parent organization under which MindShift uh, exists. And you can see the stories, for example, a very interesting uh, post from the BBC News and then you can look at the other things around it so you can get very rich content through MindShift. They have a fantastic group of bloggers that also helps figure things out and uh, discuss the things that are in the news instead of just consuming them. So MindShift has a great collection of stories that you can sort through and uh, get the best news in education, get the newest things, and also get really good bloggers that uh, help out. Both have lists of local bloggers and then bloggers that they link in on a regular basis. The next one that I want to talk about is the HuffPost. Now the HuffPost um, has different pieces to it and you can think about what exactly uh, you like or don't like about the HuffPost in general, but they do have a specific section about education. The section about education is updating news and have a lot of dedicated bloggers that work for HuffPost and create running blogs. And you can see that there are blogs here uh, from anything around uh, the use of technology to innovation to college and other things that uh, are really important and current as well as things that are older or have more depth to them. So these are, uh, this is a great way to get some uh, educational blogs and bloggers into 
the realm of who do you like, what do you like, and again, the great advantage of consuming this material is you consume only the things you like and you're interested in. You're not working with anything that doesn't speak to you. Another source that I like very, very much is the National Education Policy Center, NEPC, and NEPC has a lot of interesting uh, reports that go out about uh, issues, educational issues uh, of national importance, but they also have a list of the best of ed blogs, and so you can see that there's a long list of different bloggers and the posts they make, and you can again sample, learn, and also see which ones of these bloggers you like most, and then you can follow that specific blogger personally. As a last piece, I want to uh, tell you that a good way to catch interesting blogs on the things that we think are important is to join us on uh, LinkedIn. We have a group to follow our hashtag, UNL, hashtag UNL Tech Edge, or uh, to go to my personal uh, blog, guytraining at blogpost.com, and uh, use that as a place to get a lot of our perspective on the things we're doing uh, and links to other blogs that are worthwhile as well. So lots of ways to get blogs, lots of ways to get professional development through our devices. And I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.